Hi, this is Frederick from Detroit Berlin, a channel about music production, modular gear and synthesizers in general. I'm going to take a look at the Dofer A138S, the stereo mixer from Dofer. It's a pretty simple mixer, it has four channels, four mono inputs and they can be panned, they can be attenuated and then you got the left and the right output so it's a very convenient mixer to put mono signals in and get some stereo sound out of it I've got two of them, one in this big modular case and one in my performance modular where I use it as kind of a sub mixer to pan the hi-hats and the cymbals and yeah it's just a pretty convenient mixer I don't tweak it that much in my performance case it just panned the way it is and it's there it doesn't take up too much space it's 8 HP wide so it, it's a pretty small mixer so let me first quickly go over the patch what is actually happening I've got the Moog Matriarch the Moog Matriarch output it's going to the sequential switch on which I already did a video. I'm using it a little bit differently. Instead of inputting four signals and getting one output, I'm actually using one input and using the four outputs to send them each to an input on the mini stereo mixer. So it's a bi-directional module, the sequential switch. It's going into the mini stereo mixer from Dofer, then it's going into the Sea Devils filter from STG Sound Labs. I've got two of them, so two filters. They are matched, so if you they're, they're really in tune. Then it's going into the two wave folders from STG Sound Labs. And then it is going into the Starlap Reverb from Strymon. And then it's going back into the Moog Matriarch and gets some delay. The envelopes are triggering the Sea Devils filters and is triggering the Wave Folder. So the Amp envelope is triggering the Wave Folder. The Filter envelope from the Moog Matriarch is triggering the Filter from SDG Sound Labs. I'm gonna play some sounds and explain what is actually happening and then we will go over the module itself. It will be in the timestamps so you can jump right to that overview from all the inputs and the outputs on the mini stereo mixer but it's pretty simple so enjoy. So when the sequential switch is in four step mode the four outputs the signal will be sent to each output every time I click because the gate output is triggering the sequential switch. This is also very important so that every time I press a key it goes to the next output. So when I play one of the four, now it's the fourth, I can pan this signal. Let's put it all the way to the right. And when I press the next key, it will switch because it's going to a different input and this one is panned all the way to the left. And this creates that stereo signal. So when I play, the notes are going over the stereo image. Again to the right, but not all the way. To the left. to the right. And also the levels, they can be attenuated. Well, it's a pretty simple setup, but the effect is really nice because you're actually turning the patch into a stereo patch. Of course, I'm filtering it after the mini stereo mixer. You can also do that before it goes into the sequential switch. I got two filters, but if you don't, you can put the filter before the sequential switch and then it will be kind of the same sound. I'm putting it through the Strymon Starlap because this is creating this atmosphere. When you go over to another pan, 
then the previous one still reverberates and it creates this full sound and let's turn the star lab down and see how it sounds it will be i think not as pretty maybe also the delay on the moog matriarch so without effects it will sound like this So it is definitely missing that glue, that Starlap glue and that delay that makes it really sound nice because you're still hearing those delays after you let go of the keys. So that's giving that a little bit more kind of sustain because of course we're talking about one signal that is sent left and right. When you go to the next note, the release of the previous note will be also sent to the other side. And for that, a reverb and a delay are really interesting because it will make it sound pretty still instead of just having it jumping all over the place. But the stereo effect, stereo delay or stereo reverb, that will really make it sound atmospheric. So let's open up that delay. It really improves the patch a lot. So that's an important ingredient in the patch. Now let's open that wet from the Starlap. I really do think this is nice sounding. So let's go over all the knobs, inputs and outputs. The first row are the level knobs, the volume knobs. The second row of knobs are the pan knobs. In the middle, the incoming volume when turned fully clockwise is at circa 160%. All the way left, the volume will rise on the left side to 190% and also on the right side, if you put it all the way clockwise, the pan knob and the level knob also all the way clockwise, the right output will receive about 190% of the incoming signal here you got four inputs, input one, two, three, and four. These are of course the signal inputs. And you got output L and output R, which is the left and the right output. So when you put the pan up all the way to the right, it will come only at the right output. When you put the pan up all the way to the left, it will only come out, the signal will only pass through the left output and when you pan it to the middle then it will come out of both outputs. So what you can also do is when you pan the first two channels all the way to the right and the third and the fourth channel all the way to the left, you can actually use it as two two channel mixers or a three channel mixer and just a signal attenuator or booster it can boost up to almost double the amount that is going in it is dc coupled so you can also mix voltages control voltages so you get some possibilities with this mixer i think it's a, a really nice module and the fact that it's stereo you can do simple but lovely stuff with it it's a simple module i don't think it needs much more uh, explanation. If you have any questions about this module or you want 
to see a demo of other modules, please put it in the comment section and I will try to reply. I would like to thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Always welcome to share my videos and give them a thumbs up and hope to see you next time. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can always take a look at my page. And if you want to download most of my patches of my Dofer modules in PDF format, you can go to my Patreon, become a Patreon, and then you can download all these patches I made and have a go at them on your system at home. Again, I would like to thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.